All right. Hi, everybody. I'm joined today by Laura Harper, head coach for the Towson Women's Basketball Program. Coach, today was the first official day of practice. How's the new staff gelling with the team and everybody on campus? You know, first of all, we have an amazing staff and, yeah. you know, there was a, a lot of loyalty lines that are there amongst our staff. I mean, I've probably known everyone if we had to count the years total about 50 years if we added everything up together. So that was something really important to me in initially hiring so that we had the cohesion, the trust was there so that we could put our primary focuses on our student athletes. Um, so again, our staff is great. Now it's just learning. We have some players that still were retained and, and didn't leave and go to Temple. Then there, I brought in some players. So now it's, it's funny because we went through the I want to say the Henry Ford quote that's like something about starting together is the process going through. I read that to them today in our practice plan, like keeping together. Is, I'm like, that's the season. You know, it's easy to coming together is the first part. So we've definitely come together. Um, that was the first challenge of like, it's okay. We don't have to have these separate silos amongst our team guys. Like we're still all one Towson. Um, <laughs> Definitely. And committing to that throughout the year when it doesn't get easy, when it's not as hype as day one, because day one is so exciting. <laughs> but later on down the stretch, it takes that commitment to the process, like you said. And right. and just for you, you know, you've played at literally all levels of the game. You talk about winning a national championship at Maryland, pre playing professionally in the WNBA, going overseas. And so how do you take all of that experience and really navigate that and pour that into the players that you get to coach now? You know, I try to think that my playing career and the things that I've experienced give me a wealth of knowledge and more so just credentials or some yeah. kind of like, maybe you should listen to me. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I tell my players all the time, you know, like I've been there. I know what it sounds like. I know what it looks like. I know what it feels like. So, you know, we have to find our way, but having my experience, it's more of, I've seen what success looks like and not saying that I can perfectly emulate that, but I know what it's not. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. So I really try to just take from my past experiences and allow our players to form their own um, but when we talk about just my, my principles, things I refuse to coach, attitude, energy, effort, discipline, and communication, those are things that we have to have. We even have an inkling of wanting to be successful. And I was doing some research just on you. And one thing that I saw kind of a pattern of was your gratefulness, how you said, Hey, today I'm grateful. You know, how does that attitude really breed that winning culture? You know, it's funny you say that because I think I, I entered 2023 and that was just like the word for me that, or maybe 22, what year is it? 2022. I think, <laughs> I think so, but we're getting yes. there. <laughs> I'm like, my apologies. I entered 2022 and I'm just like, man, this is crazy. I've been through so much and I'm just so grateful. And I felt like there were some challenges that I experienced at COP and just from a getting the program up and running from where we came from. And I just always tried to focus on the things I was grateful for. And I, I realized it seems trivial, but I became so much a happier person. Wow. Um, and even now when I wake up, I'm tired. I'm like, man, like I'm grateful because I woke up. Mm -hmm. And like, why are we complaining about so many things that we can't even control? That's so good, coach. That is something that I try to impl implement as well. And it really does. It changes everything. Maybe not the circumstance, but inwardly that can change so much. So totally taking that lesson from you and running with it for sure. And you've had so much um, just family input into your basketball career, right? So now being at Towson, how have you seen just your family rally around you in this new chapter of your life? You know, that's why this is literally a dream job for me at Towson. So my brother's 15 minutes away. He went to George Washington. He walked on for a bit at the team. My dad played at George Washington. Um, they're in Philly, so it's within two hours. My parents, my niece and my nephew now are finally old enough to understand that auntie's the head coach. Um, so my family is everything and the most consistent force in my life other than my faith. And I try in showing our team what consistency looks like, go from what I know. And that's exactly what my family is to me. And I think we're living in a world that's so fleeting and so just instant gratification 
is all that you know this student athlete is looking for. So we talk about what does consistent behavior truly look like. So that's why I try to make sure my family and everything I can control is there for me. That's awesome. So incredible. I'm looking forward to meeting your family, hopefully on the court sometime this upcoming year. If there's yeah. one thing though, as your team takes the court that you want to see happen, that you want to see out of Towson women's basketball, what is that going to be from your team? We're going to play fast. You know, I'm not, I told them I, I wasn't here to change the wheel. This was a team that liked to run. They had a lot of firepower, you know, in the past coach rich. I'm just so grateful for the players that she was able to recruit and left me with some for sure. So we're going to stick to those running and gun. We're going to, I told them, I listened to this podcast um, from Kyra Elsie and yeah. she talked about for being a first year head coach at Kentucky and picking three things you want to be excellent at three things you should be great at and three things you should be good at and like implementing your practice plans and all your planning procedures with that. And it, it dawned on me, okay, maybe I should have our team think about the same thing so we can see if we're on the same page. So I tell you all that because I told them today, the three things we focused on was transition offense, half court defense, which also includes rebounding. And there was one other thing. I know it's transition offense, half court defense and points in the paint. Okay. So when they're curious about why we're doing so many layup drills and why we're handling contact so much and why we're running so much, well, that's because we want to be great at transition offense, right, guys? So we need to be in the best shape. Yeah. So that's a place to start. We are going to defend, run, and rebound. That's one thing we're definitely going to do.